clarity and love calmly. It's the 22nd. Fallon's Daily Toast, flowers. What's going on this week? All sorts of stuff. Before I get started, I want to thank you all for your support. It means so much to have all the kind words and all the Facebook likes. Whoa. Whoa. These birds won't leave me alone. Hello. You're watching an episode of Fallon's Daily Toast. It's Monday, almost six o'clock. Stay tuned for an update. I wanted to, first of all, thank all of you for tuning into Fallon's Daily Toast. I have a lot of fun with it, and it wouldn't be where it is if it weren't for me because I put a lot of love into it, but also it wouldn't be where it is if y'all didn't like it too. And I'm glad you do. It's fun, and we try to just share with everyone the, uh, the creative community that exists all over the fucking world. It's pretty cool, and I'm happy to be alive. And I'm also happy to be uh, an award winner. I mean, uh, an award-winning show is what Fallon's Daily Toast is. An award-winning show. So pretty cool to see that. Um, it is hitting about 25,000 homes on the regular, and it's also getting about 5,000 views on the website a week. So it's getting up there in numbers. If you're interested in becoming a sponsor, hit me up at fallensdailytoastgmail.com. If you're a business, an artist, you want some more exposure, I'd be happy to work with you on, uh, you know, sharing what it is you love to do for the right price. Um, Hey, what's up? Uh, you're watching an episode of Fallon's Daily Toast. I'm at Somerville Community Access Television. And look who just walked into the editing room, but Henry Parker himself. And I'm here with the one and only. Yeah. Ba -da we sit on the board of directors together now, and it's really exciting. Uh, just a couple of nights ago was the editors meeting in the big awards ceremony, and both of us got awards, which was cool. And uh, But Henry has a show, Henry Parker Presents, and, um, and it's good. You know, he... Uh, all about team building, all about the community, and touching upon controversial issues. Um, so I guess let's start right off with some controversial issues. Like, what are some of the most controversial issues, um, you know, rising to the surface for you right now? Okay, uh, Donald Trump. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's, hey, what a racket! Well, here he is. <clears throat> they they showed a cartoon many years ago on The Simpsons mm -hmm. with Donald Trump as being president. Mm -hmm. Who knew? Who knew? I mean, and he is brought about with his arrogance and those that follow him, I would say, a thug mentality. Because mm -hmm. here he's going to, wants to go into different countries and just bogart their, their natural resources, right? It's like, come on, what do you, please. But, hey, and people enjoy it, so. Hey. Is he, uh, is he kind of though, like, in some bizarre way, sort of, uh, pointing out the clownish and nature of America's political system, that a uh, reality show host can now run for president because exactly. he has a lot of money to spend, so all it takes is money. So, yeah, I'm a big supporter of Bernie Sanders. Vote Bernie Sanders all right. the way. He's the only one that seems a bit normal. Yeah! Shit. Now, as for Hillary. Hillary. Uh, she's... But, well, I guess, you know, how do people, uh, I guess all we can do is just continue working together as a community and, st and focus on the micro, the macro, but also the small governments, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Uh, you have to start at the local level. Yeah. To keep your uh, politicians on a local level 
held accountable. Yeah, like definitely, you know, make sure you know who your representatives are. Your representatives involved. I mean, it's mm -hmm. up to us to really to, to make yeah, everything work. We can, we have the power to do it. We oh. just have to use a re utilize resources. Exactly. We do here in Somerville Community Access Television. Exactly. exactly. Uh, it's interesting because where Somerville is so diverse now, uh, my question is, with, is diversity like the Somerville High School? They speak 51 different languages. Wow. And it's because as a native, I was born here in Somerville. And to see the changes it's gone through, uh, it's, it's amazing to me. It boggles the mind. Mm -hmm. I mean, who would ever think that Davis Square would be a hip place to be? We're living in the future. <laughs> right. It's pretty That's cool. I mean, and to see what they're doing with, uh, uh, what's, it, what's the mall out there? Oh, Assembly. Assembly Square Mall. I don't know what that place used to be about. I've been there once. Yeah. It's cool. But so, I really dig Union. Yeah. So a my lot. question is, as I see someone will progress, someone asked me, where do you see some of them in five years? And I say, who can afford to live here in five years? I know. That's the thing, too. Uh, there should be, I mean, years ago in Cambridge, they had rent control. If some of all loses its little mom and pop stores, then it's, I would say, its diverse flavor was just go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, that's the beauty of it. It is a melting pot of diversity. You have, like, uh, just uh, so many different cultures and everyone, you know, coming together. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a rainbow of. That's of, an understatement. Yeah, it is. It is so diverse. Don't make it so expensive to live here, okay? As I see what the rents are going up to, I'm like, wow, that's that just forcing regular folk out. Yeah. I mean, if you crank that kind of money, that you can afford to, you know, spend God knows how much it is for rent. Yeah. That's one thing, but those that, well, you know, this is home, you know, the originals. No, I don't. Well, some of, no, 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 no. Yeah, I know. I, it's really sad to see. You, for, if you're the, the mouse, you know, the cheese is always going to be moved to a different place in the kitchen. You know what I mean? So if you're a mouse... I never heard, but that's good. I like that. And if it's the cheese mentality, it's like you just got to always kind of keep searching for the new cheese in the new location. And, and so it can't get you down. So anyone that's like being pushed out of some place, just mm -hmm. you'll find another place and you'll be fine with it. And that'll likely happen again. Gentrification is almost inevitable. It's been happening they keep for... pushing you out? Yeah, push yeah. Out. It's been happening for years and years push and years. We'd like to say stop, but I don't think we can stop anything from moving when it's like got some momentum, you know, unfortunately that's the world we live in today. I would like to see some more, I would like to see some, you know, some guidelines and some boundaries, maybe bringing back rent control for people that exactly. make okay. a certain amount affordable. of money. Yeah, affordable, yeah, for, absolutely. You still want to keep regular folk around here. And by regular folk, we mean the best folk. The, right. We are the ones that basically are sort of inspiring developers to come. Yeah. Just saying, it's the artists that really do cause a buzz and, and beautify the public realm. And so if they leave, you know, it's not a special yeah, so, place. Look at Harvard Square. It used to be a melting pot. It was wild back in the day. Now, it's just totally corporate. But mm -hmm. hey. Yeah. So I guess while we, this year, 2016, what we're trying to say is that we are going to bring the wild. The right. wacky, the weird, back. and the wise back. Yeah, and not that it ever left, but maybe it's just been sort of uh, hibernating for a little right. while. Mm -hmm. But that's exciting. I'm so glad you're on the show. It's my pleasure. Yeah, this has been a good show. You should come on again. It was fun. It was fun. I think you should have like maybe a bi weekly, you know, mm -hmm. like sitting down toast with Henry Parker. Likewise. Likewise. Right, cool. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. And, um, and you'll be seeing more of this face. And you can tune into Henry. Parker yes, presents. Henry Parker Presents. And you can find a show on Somerville Community Access Television mm -hmm. Channel 3. When is your time slot? Let's see. Wednesdays and Saturdays, I believe. It's either 1.30 or 2. It jumps around. But cool. What are you coming up next? Uh, right now, I just got through with a couple of shows. Uh, with Johnny Dees is closing. I recorded uh, one of their Latin programs. Mm. Uh, Rumba Nama. Yeah. And I'm going to do, hopefully, the Heavy Metal Horns, which should be this Friday. And, by the way, they're going to have a parade through Davis Square. Mm -hmm.
the exhibit in existence 40 some years. Wow. It's going to be sad to see them work, go. Yeah. But hey, nature of the times is such. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But while they were here, it was a blast. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, that's good to know then. So tell, let me ask you what's, <laughs> what's your latest uh, endeavor? Uh, Wednesday, I have Sh uh, Charlotte Janowski, and she'll be on the show. I'll interview her. And uh, I'm working on a, a little situational comedy with a group of writers. We're going to bring a sitcom. We're going to connect Somerville Community Access Television to Cambridge Television. That's the conduit. And they're going to be five characters. And it's funny. It's really funny. But it's pow and it's powerful. You know, it definitely touches on some major issues that we're all seeing happen mm -hmm. around the world. But with comedy, it's important to yeah. laugh. Oh, no yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, by the way, I want to officially congratulate you on being a member of the Board of Directors. Thank you. Which is huge. Yeah. Now, what, what, do you think, what do you think you can bring to the Board of Directors and SCAT in general? Engagement, action. You know, I love, uh, and a lot of listening. You know, for, because I'm so new, I, I want to I wanna get to know everyone and mm -hmm. absorb as much as possible. I, I don't want to jump in too enthusiastic. I'm so enthusiastic, mm -hmm. but I just want to. I think for the first few meetings, I'll I'll like to just listen and mm -hmm. absorb everyone's, you know, what every angle is and who everyone is and learn all about mm -hmm. it. And then I'll step. And then I'll and then I'll you know feel comfortable enough to to start chime to in. chime in and start to implement you know where my strengths are, um, and and try to just be of service. Pretty much just be of service in any way that I can. If you know, if the group decides that, hey, Fallon, you know, we feel like you'll be perfect to do this, then, then I'm on it. Well, you will definitely be a uh, plus. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Woo. And greatly needed. Greatly needed. Thank you, Henry. Oh. It's, hey. Cool. The truth. Thank you. That's so cool. All right, well, you got it right here. This is where all the magic happens in this room. You're right. All the editing takes place hundreds and hundreds of hours. We don't get paid to do this. We just love it's a, it's, doing it. It's a labor of love. It is a labor of love. And, uh, no, that's like people say, oh, man, you're always dying and doing this, 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 and this. I said, look, people don't realize what goes into putting together a TV program. It's time consuming, but it's a labor of love. It's, it, the, the end result is very rewarding. Yeah, it is. Sure is. Sometimes things don't turn out the way you want. That's like, okay, let's do this again. Just don't have too many expectations. Exactly. <laughs> but if you are a sponsor, or a business, an artist, or someone who's looking to get your business recognized, your art more exposed, I mean, get in touch with some real community access television. And, you know, we're always looking for sponsors or people that want to, you know, contribute and work together with us to collaborate. We're all about it. So, um, so don't hesitate. Get yeah, in touch, okay? Great. All right. Cool. And with that... I'm out, and right. thank you very much. Thank you very much. Cool. Mwah.